Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan Dawson 3 here. And as you can see, I'm here with this super duper adorable Spongebob book. And this one is called Spongebob Pops Up. And I actually got this book back in, I believe, summer 2020. And this is honestly such an adorable book and I really, really love it. Okay, so as you can see on the front cover, there is adorable little Spongebob. And he's like jumping from a trampoline. And he looks so adorable. And this book was actually made by Stephen Banks and illustrated by Heather Martinez. And I love the nice pretty red color right here too. That looks really nice. Okay, and here is the spine. And here is the back. So obviously here's a little description right here about the story. And then there's little Spongebob holding... A calendar there and there are some other books right here that you can get as well all right so let's go ahead and start looking at the pages that are in this book okay so firstly here um, right here the year is 2004 so that's what year this book was made and it's like a really nice pretty blue color here too and again, this book was made by Stephen Banks, illustrated by Heather Martinez, and paper engineering by Jean Vazo, and then there's a little SpongeBob right here too. All right. So, eh, I just adjust this the best I can. Hold on a second. Okay, here is the first pop up. I'm really, really sorry. You have to like kind of um do this right here in order to like you know make the pop-up stay up but here is the first pop-up it is so cute so as you can see there is adorable precious spongebob and he's just waking up in bed and there's his foghorn alarm clock and there are some slippers on the floor there's his tie his stuffed animal weights newspapers his crusty crab hat, his socks, jellyfishing glasses, jellyfishing net, and his karate gear. And yeah, Spongebob looks really adorable, and you can actually kind of move his arms slightly. Like this. Just like that. That's so cute. And you can pull this right here out. And there's little Gear Bear! How cute is that? Hi, Gary! Alright. See? And here is this little door right here that you can open up. And you can see all of Spongebob's clothes in there and his shoes. You can see his little shirt and pants. Yeah, you can see all his clothes in there and his shoes as well. But yep, Spongebob is getting ready for another fabulous day of working at the Krusty Krab. And yep, alright. Okay. Oh, okay. That's pretty perfect. Alright, so Spongebob wants to invite his good friends Squidward and Patrick to go jellyfishing with him after work. Of course, Squidward says no, but Patrick, of course, says yes. And you can actually lift this flap right here, and you can see adorable little Patrick, and he's saying... See you after my eight hour nap, SpongeBob! And and SpongeBob is actually double sided. So on this side right here, he says, So long, Patrick! And then turn this around. <laughs> okay. And right here on this side, he says, Sweet dreams! And he looks so adorable as well. Fix this up. Okay. And yeah, there's school over right there. He looks kind of funny. <laughs> And then um, you can open up the door of Spongebob's house, and you can see little Gary inside there. And then there is Tom right there driving a boat, and there's a little sign right there that says, This way to Jellyfish Fields, and yep. Yeah. Okay. And now, Spongebob is happily at work in the Krusty Krab, as you can see there. And he's making a double Krabby Patty Deluxe with the works, and, um, 
Yep, you can open up this door right here, and you can see there is Squidward, and he's sarcastically saying, I can hardly contain my excitement. And he's reading a book there. Like a novel or something. And, um, there's Mr. Krabs with little dollar bills in his hand. You can barely see that. I'm trying to fix up SpongeBob a tiny bit. You can kind of see that. Oh, and you can actually pull this back and forth. And look at this. SpongeBob's arms can move around. See that? That's so cool. When I first got this book, I thought that was like insanely awesome. Let me push that down a bit more. There we go, much better. See that? That is so cool. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. But yeah, you can see there's SpongeBob's like little 3D nose right here. Kind of see that? And he has 12 hands for faster cooking. So, yep. Okay. And now SpongeBob, like, is done with his shift at the Krusty Krab. And he goes to see his good friend Sandy. And he asks her if she wants to come jellyfishing with him and Patrick. And, yep, Sandy's just quickly showing him a few karate tricks that she learned. So, yeah, there's Sandy. And then there's Spongebob, and then there's her big, huge tree. And you can actually kind of move Sandy slightly. See? Boop. 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 And you can see her little picnic table. I don't think there's really anything you can move in this page, to be honest, but hey, it's okay. Oh, yeah, and of course, Spongebob does have his water helmet on, so he can breathe in Sandy's dome. And, uh, okay. Let me try to fix this up as best as I can. Hold on. Alright, so now Spongebob and his friends are at jellyfish fields, and then there's like the biggest jellyfish ever, as you can kind of see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and um, as you can see, a lot of bikini bonomites are getting stung by jellyfish, as you can see. There's even a Fred the My Leg guy. But yeah, so Sandy is like laughing at Spongebob and Patch because her nets are too small for that huge jellyfish. So, yeah, sorry, this is a bit hard to see. Let me fix this up a tiny bit. There you go. Oh, and now we're at the final pop-up area in this book. So, as you can see, SpongeBob and Patrick are relaxing at Goo Lagoon. And they have, like, little jellyfish stings on their bodies. And, um, but they're... But they're both really, really happy, and they're feeling better because they're lying in the sunshine. And, um, Spongebob says that the Flying Dutchman could never come to Gulagoon because he can't get a tan after Patrick, um, says that he wouldn't even move from his spot even if the Flying Dutchman showed up. And boom. There is the Flying Dutchman. And as you can see, there's a load of fish, including Larry the Lobster, Running away from him, as you can see, everyone's like really afraid of the Flying Dutchman. I mean, to be honest, who wouldn't be scared of that guy? And, uh, <laughs> yep, and then down there, there's actually a, a fish in a, like, lifesaver ring, or, like a pool ring. And, um, yeah, there's Larry the Lobster, and there are some fish running out of the water. And there's even a guy with a surfboard, and yeah, there's the Flying Dutchman. And there's Spongebob and Patrick relaxing on the beach. How cute are they? Alright, and that is actually pretty much it for this book. I absolutely adore Spongebob Pops Up. Um, I think my favorite part... Hmm. Is, um... I don't know, to be honest... I don't really have a favorite part about this book, because it's so fun. But I especially love how fun this one right here is because you can move this along and Spongebob's arms can move around. Focus, please. There we go. I mean, that's so fun to play with. But I just adore how, uh, like, how cute Spongebob looks here. I mean, how cute does he look? And, um, I don't know. I think this book is just a lot of fun. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So goodbye everybody, have a great day, and peace out.